then there were the guy that would seem to have more ways to win the fight. But if he stays at range here, kicking range, he's the best at that. So he needs to continue down this path, continue to throw those kicks straight at him and dart at him, look at him to keep him at space so that he can fight his fight. That kick is goodbye, Hulk. Oh, nice. Punches in bunches as he lands another combination there, really doing a nice job stringing his shots. Together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. Nice punch land over the top. Down to three minutes now to go in the round. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to win. Yeah. Yeah. Power strike there. He could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or his mama's house to Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Throw him up. Go get him. The fight's done. Back to his feet. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. All right, so a nice straight punch there. to his feet. Oh, double jab. That is it. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight.